If you've got old fluoro lights that look like this and you're looking to upgrade them and you consider yourself a bit of a handyman, check this out. I just got 10 brand new LED batten lights delivered. Here they are. And these are gonna be replacing all my old fluoro tubes that are over here. Now the problem with these tubes is they keep getting all the bugs, insects, and all of that horrible stuff inside. And to be honest as well, they're simply not that bright. These are 36 watt globes, but I have recently installed a whole bunch of these elsewhere in my office and that, and these are so bright. These are 1.2 meter long batten lights. They are 40 watts of power. They are 6,500K of, um, which is basically daylight, cool daylight uh, lighting, which is what I like. They also are 4,500 lumens, which is very, very bright. The other beautiful thing about these things is they are completely mosquito proof, they are dust proof, and they even state that they are waterproof. Now I got 10 of these delivered to my door for $89. Now, I'm not the best with math, but I think that's about $8.90 per unit. LED. So stick around. I'll show you how to install these, and I'll give you a look at what they look like at night time. So the very first thing, once you get it all out of the uh, big box, when you pull one of these out, number one, you'll see the brackets are like this. These are brackets that only require one screw in the center to be put onto wherever you're fixing it to. At the other end, you've got a very short length of cable. What I will be doing is extending these cables by about a, a 600 millimeter length of additional cable. And I'll show you how I do that. This is just a little bit too short. So you've got to lengthen this cable to be suitable to where you're going to be fixing it. All right, so the first thing I want to do is just get my uh, length of cable. Now I'm just using as an extension. It's pretty much speaker cable, but it's good enough for this electrical work. And I'll be going all the way from that line down to here and just giving it a cut. Easy. Now I just repeat that process and just keep doing it for for all my remaining lengths until I have 10 because I'm going to be doing all these lights in the one hit. And once I've got my cable lengths, what I want to do is get a stripper. And by the way, if you haven't got one of these, you really need to get one. I think I paid about 10 bucks off AliExpress and they are such exceptionally good strippers. Anyway, I will get my wire and I'll pretty much just uh, cut off a length. And basically I do that to all of them and I'm going to get them ready to solder together to my lights over here. And then we're going to be putting a bit of heat shrink around it. All right, let's just show you just the way I solder this extensions. I have a few things ready here. I've got my soldering iron, uh, a bit of solder here. I've got my heat shrinks and uh, obviously the Bic lighter just to shrink the heat shrink. All right, so the way I do this, everyone does this a little bit differently. So this is just what I'm doing here. I get my little heat shrinks and I put them over each one, like so. Uh, sometimes it's good to tin these, but uh, all I'm doing this time is uh, expediting things a little bit because I can. Uh, this wire's got a blue strip, so I'll just connect it to the blue. That way I know it's the blue.
right, once all the lights are uh, finished and they've got all their ends or the wires extended, next is to remove all the lights down. Obviously, make sure that you turn the power to the lights off, like so. And that just isolates the electricity and so I can freely work upon those lights. Right, I'll try to show you as best as I can what it's like to remove one of these old fluoros. I've usually got heaps of bugs in here. There's usually all heaps of bugs and insects and oh, all that good stuff. Okay, one other thing I'll just say is um, whenever you're doing electrical work, I know I've turned the power off, I've isolated it, but I always carry one of these things. I call them a life stick. Basically, it's an AC voltage detector. Uh, this particular one, turn it on. These are only worth like five bucks if you buy them off AliExpress, and they work beautifully. It will make a sound, and the light will flash if it detects any AC power. It's detecting nothing, I know, because I've actually turned it off. But it's always good to just be sure that it works. And let me give you an example. It just gives you an idea. Brilliant things. If you're ever attempting any form of electrical work, don't do it without one of these. Always have a life stick with you. My next task is to remove these wires here that's my active my blacks my neutral and the earth and boom there we go done and last of all actually remove the light okay all the lights have been removed that was pretty disgusting actually so many spiders and and insects in there so our next job is now to fit on the new light buttons and I'll show you how to do that so if you can see up here I've put this wire up above and I want to get these clips into place these clips only require one screw the screw that I've got is a flat head and it just requires to be in the center Cool, now to get the light. So what I do first with this, I'm gonna hang this light here on this side and this side. And it kind of will just sit there, as you can see. Great, got hands free, I can work. I'm gonna put this through the existing hole, like so. Okay, there's grooves on each side of this light, so the cable just sits in there nicely. If you have a look here, it's just going to literally clip into place like so, there we go, voila. And what I have with me in my pocket, these things. Now, back in the day, we used to call these blue points. They used to literally be blue. Now we just call them just wire connectors. With these lights, it doesn't matter whether your neutral or your earth gets connected or they get wired up opposite. Generally speaking, you wanna keep it the same, but uh, with these particular lights, even if you're your blue cable on your light is uh, connected to your active up on your main line and vice versa, it's still gonna work. But just for the sake of keeping things the same, I'm gonna connect my blue, which is generally considered neutral, with my neutral wire, which in this instance in the house uh, light cabling is the black one. So I'll just twist them around. Get my blue point. screw it off until it's nice and tight like that we've got earth here now these lights don't have an earthing cable so I'm just going to terminate this earthing cable like so just with a blue point excellent everything's nice and um, finished off now literally I will be tucking these cables here out of sight it's nice and safe that's just the way it sits in this particular application and the film just literally rip it off at the end. And voila. All right, that's all six lights installed. There we go. All right, so let's do this. 
So the beauty of these lights is that they turn on instantly. No um, starter required like your old fluoro lights. These are flicker free. Yeah, not too bad at all. Like $8.90 per light. And this is going to be bright as anything here. So tonight I'll just do a little bit of a uh, film of what they look like here. I forgot to show what it's like here at night time with the previous lights, but these are much, much brighter than the previous uh, fluoro lights. Time to see what it's like at night. Here we go. Ho, ho, ho. That is very bright. And that's only six new lights that have been installed. This is nice and bright for us, that's for sure. Check it out. Very, very cool. And what else I'm noticing just as I'm filming this on my phone is there is absolutely no flicker up on my screen either. Like the fluoros, it's to do with the hertz of the light, but this one, there's no flicker at all upon my screen. So that's pretty cool as well. So I hope you enjoyed that. These are the eBay LED lights, 40 watts, 6,500K, 4,500 lumens, according to what it states upon the uh, eBay listing. I'll put uh, a listing uh, link in the description of this video. And um, yeah, hopefully you got something out of this and learned a little bit about uh, how to install some uh, lights. Now, like anything, you know, if you're not confident with working with electricity and you've got no idea what you're doing, well, then, you know, call a Sparky out to do your job for you. However, if you are, are a bit handy, you may find this quite helpful and um, maybe something you can tackle on your own. Just remember what I said previously, okay? Don't do any electrical work without a life stick, aka a voltage uh, tester, and always isolate your power. Turn it off so there is no electrical um, current running through to where you're working. When in doubt, turn it off at the meter board and you'll be right.